Hey everyone, Matt Pistarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today to do a new review of a brand new product on the market, the Edwin Jagger 316 Stainless Steel Double Edge Safety Razor. Let's get started. All right, we are all lathered up with my go-to for the 2019 videos, the Sandalwood scent by Taylor of Old Bond Street. One of the classics, one of my favorites. I have this at home as well, so very familiar with lathering it up and I love it. Um, I always like to put on my pre-shave uh, from Parasso underneath, as you saw me kind of rubbing it into my skin first. That's the best way to put on a pre-shave is just by really building it in to your, you know, your, uh, beard with your fingers and gives you time to kind of exfoliate a little bit and kind of also feel what's going on with your beard and what's going to be needed to uh, to be shaved. Um, and last but not least, we're going to get loaded up with the 316. Now, um, let's just unbox this and let's talk about the packaging. So first off, um, this was given to me brand new by the USA sales rep, uh, Gail, from Edwin Jagger at the Big Shave South west uh, a few weeks ago and in the last few weeks it's been traveling in my duffel bag and in the car it was packed up and it got a little bit dinged on the box it's 100 percent for me it arrived to me pristine so just fyi but first thing i wanted to say is very cool packaging very different for edwin jagger we're used to the vertical tall boxes for the regular razors obviously they went with something more deluxe and more fancy for this new deluxe razor of theirs and as we're opening it here going to see the way it's presented. It pulls out to the side. It actually doesn't come all the way out. That's kind of cool. And it has a little clear film over it. And we have the razor cap. We have the razor base plate, the guard. And we have the uh, razor handle. So I'm just going to put this packaging aside. I'm not going to use the feather blades. That is not my preference of blades, and I do, I'm not additioning feather blades. I know what they feel like. I'm additioning the razor head. So I'm going to use my favorite, my go-to um, blade, which is Paul Silver, as you guys know. Now, I, I do that with all my product reviews. If you guys are new to the channel, I like to think of this as a mathematical equation. And I want to hold some variables constant and test for other variables. So today we're testing for the new 316. We're not testing for my blade or my brush or my pre-shave soap or my shave soap. So those are all gonna be the same as I'm very much used to using. And we'll, our new variable will only be the 316 razor. So we're gonna get loaded up here. I'm just carefully removing my double-edged blade, brand new. And if you guys are also new to the channel, the best way to always load up a three-piece razor is with the cap flat in your hand and then put the blade right across it. Put the guard on top of that and then put the handle on top of that and start threading it on. Okay, so we are all loaded up now with Paul Silver and just before I take my first stroke with this, just a couple observations. It's a thinner handle than the other Edwin Jagger razors like I have the laser cut one at home, the DE89. Um, it looks like a pretty similar blade gap, a pretty similar uh, head geometry, but we're gonna give it a shot and see if it is that different. I'm very much accustomed to the way that Edwin Jagger razors shave, and I actually quite enjoy them. To me, the DE89 is um, one of the best razors out there for beginners. So let's give this a shot. Okay. Taking me just a second to get used to the angle and the amount of pressure needed. It's my two variables I always talk about, angle and pressure. Very nice. It is a very clean result.
So as you guys know, I'm practicing some skin stretching and I'm practicing a little bit of blade buffing, kind of going over the same area in short strokes, very light pressure. It feels great guys, really enjoying it. Um, so this is a brand new razor. This is something that's coming out in the market right now. And I think we may be one of the first retail stores in the US to be carrying it. I know that um, the owner of Edwin Jagger, Neil Jagger, uh, had talked about this years ago. I met him in Las Vegas for a trade show and I was helping him out with the booth, Fredwin Jagger, and uh, we talked obviously over the course of the two or three days in Vegas together and he was mentioned even years ago that he wanted a stainless steel razor. Um, I'm really happy to see him deliver on that. And there's so much of the market that's been going to stainless steel. And I think the consumer is starting to wake up to that. They want stainless steel. You know, a lot of benefits in terms of the long-term performance of the, of the handle. And first off, it's going to be uh, harder. So you can drop it. Or if it drops in the shower or in the sink, it's probably not going to crack or chip like some of the Zamac and chrome-plated razors will. And then number two, it's going to be more rust-resistant. Although chrome is actually really good for rust resistant. It's just that chrome starts to blister and crack over time, especially if it's abused. Um, but I, you know, this is definitely something I could see lasting a very long time. And to me, the performance is wonderful. I would, uh, just like the regular DE89 razor, I would call this the Goldilocks. Uh, in the shaving world, it's it's not too mild, it's not too aggressive, it's that it's that real nice sweet spot. And I had a lot of beard going on, guys. I think the last time I shaved was three nights ago. So it's yeah, three days of growth, and I have a very heavy beard, as you guys know, and so it was definitely up for the task today. Now, someone who has a more heavy beard or likes a more aggressive razor, you can always load it up with a sharper blade. I, I went with Paul Silver, it's my go-to. That's what we're you know, holding constant today is my blade choice. But you can always put a feather in there or Gillette Platinum or Kai. Now, in terms of the... the manufacturing process on here. I can just tell by looking at it. This is a stainless steel molded piece. Um, it could have been done with injection molding. It could have been done by um, a stainless cast. But regardless, it's a, it's, a, it's a molded stainless steel piece. And that's, there's nothing against that. There's no slam or any kind of con connotation with my description there. It's just, it is important to note that that is different than a milled piece, a machined piece that, that was um, a solid block of metal that was, you know, carved away at with machines versus this was more like an ice cube tray probably where there was a mold that they had and they injected in uh, a liquid stainless steel mixture, like a powder, and then they fire it and it comes up to uh, forming and then they take it out of the mold. One really high benefit of molding over milling is consistency. Even though you have a CNC machine part, any machinist will tell you it's all about fixtures. It's all about holding that part. And if, let me tell you, you put in a thousand different pieces over the run over the course of a production run. If they're being held a little bit differently, or someone didn't clamp something all the way down, you can get a difference. Versus a molded piece. It's, it's going to be the exact same every time. Now, one of the downfalls of molding is if you don't have it right, your problem is going to 
present itself on every single razor and you can't change it midstream. Like if, if there's no problem with a machine part, you can talk to your machinist and you can adjust a part for the next run. Once you make a mold, that's it. It's set. I am noticing I need to open it up to, to really clear out the lather a little bit more than I'm used to, but you know, hey, every three piece razor I think can benefit from loosening a little bit and tightening it back down to clear out your lather. Yeah, overall, very nice. Let me just do a quick rinse, do some check, checking around on my face for stubble. You guys know I'm, I'm not someone who goes for a birdie in golf analogy here. I'm going for par. I don't do the three pass shave. It's not because I can't. It's because my face will be happy with it one or two days a week. And the rest of the week, if I try to do it, my face will just be irritated. So I, I've learned to just do cold water, one pass with the grain. Sometimes I do a little bit of like this, just a little light touch up. Especially for some thicker areas around my goatee. Just even with water, you'd be surprised that little fine layer of stubble that's on there will just come right off and it'll feel great. Um, but overall, I'm very impressed with the racer. Uh, we told Edwin Jagger that we'd be putting in an order and be carrying them in our store here at the Emporium. And I'm looking forward to when they arrive here um, so that we can get them out to our customers because it's a great razor and I'm happy to give it a full um, endorsement that it's a great product. You know, I, I wouldn't expect anything less. One other thing I, I, you know, can say from having personally met Neil is that he is someone who is very meticulous and is very into quality and very into doing something right. And despite the fact that other vendors have put out stainless steel razors, um, I think he was smart to wait till it was perfect in his mind because, you know, why rush something, right? And it's very nice. Now there are a couple different handle options. They're all the same exact head, kind of like his existing DE89 line of razors. They'll all have the same stainless steel head and they'll just be different handle options. Now the handle option I have is kind of a medium uh, knurled handle, I would call it. Kind of a, your, your typical knurl, kind of medium knurl as I would call it, almost like a socket wrench handle. Um, very grippy, very easy to hold. The weight is great, the balance is great. Um, kind of balances maybe just a little bit below the little nameplate where it says Edwin Jagger. But there are other ones. There's, I think, red and blue and like a, like a graphite almost kind of color and then another stainless steel one that I think has lines in it. But um, so different handle options and that's kind of cool. So you can find the one you love. Um, all the same length, I believe, but yeah. It looks like it's, again, it's a molded stainless steel, and it looks like it's been uh, bead blasted, like sand blasted or glass bead blasted. And it's kind of cool, it has a little Edwin Jagger shield in the bottom uh, corner, which is a nice little touch. And it says Edwin Jagger um, around the top band, and then uh, Sheffield, England, along this bottom kind of ball. Uh, very Gillette-esque, uh, very Edwin Jagger-esque as well. But Overall, very great shave, happy with it. I put my aftershave balm on, a little Parasso white aftershave balm. Uh, I always recommend this to everyone. If you have sensitive skin or you don't like alcohol, you don't want that burn, you want more of a moisturizer quality, uh, this is a great product. It's my go-to. So that's all I got in today's shave. Um, if you enjoyed watching the video, if you have something to say, if you already somehow own the 316 or have tried it or have thought about it, Leave me a comment. I want to hear from you guys, our valued viewer on our YouTube channel. And if you do leave a comment, you're entered in to win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. So all you need to do is put your, you know, leave a comment, guys, and that enters you into the drawing. Please like our video today, um, you know, share it, subscribe to our channel, click that bell for notifications, and we'll see you at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shavings. We'll see you guys next time.